Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips for your outdoor faucet and for some of your plants outside during a hard freeze or a harsh winter. So right over here is a faucet that I need to remove the hose off first. And we're gonna protect it from a hard freeze, which you can see here at this water here is frozen. So here is the faucet cover. So it looks like on the inside and the outside. So you basically can take this loop and put it around here. I like to put mine right around the top, right over here. Make sure that the water is off, off position. And then you want this to sit nice and flush all the way around your surface so that none of the cold weather and elements can get around it. So once you have it in position, all you need to do now is just tighten down the string and push it all the way down so it's nice and snug. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So there we go. Nice and snug. So on this setup over here, I actually have a dual setup. So I removed both hoses off of there and I'm gonna go ahead and put this around the lip of the top of the faucet and go ahead and put the cover on just like I did on the other side. All right, so I went ahead and snugged that one down and you can see there the foam creates a nice seal around the brick, even on the bottom. So we had temperatures below the 20s um, the past couple days and you can see how these hibiscus plants right over here are starting to wilt. So this is the side of my house and these are the five plants that I'm trying to protect. I have one right here, a little palm down there, and those three right over there. So these three right over here are kind of white, semi-transparent trash bags. These work great. You can also use tarps, but I noticed that the more clear it is, is the better the plant does. So that very first plant there in that second one, I noticed that these do really well because the bag is very clear and transparent. So that helps to facilitate photosynthesis so that the plants can still get some sun. So, and I also use some anchors. Um, I actually use some scrap um, plastic PVC uh, molding and I just hammer it down into the ground. And the idea is to get it really nice and hunkered down to the base so that none of the heat escapes. And as you can see here, I did the same thing right down there in that corner and right over there. So basically once it starts to warm up, I'll go ahead and remove these bags. So here is a small plant down over here. It's a uh, sugar cane. And so basically I have a bucket with a stone to hold it up so the wind doesn't blow the bucket over. But I'll show you what it looks like really quick. I lift this up. You can see all that condensation there because it's warmer inside than it is on the outside. So that actually provides water and moisture for the plant. But this is a sugar cane and you can see right over here how it's still alive these past two days with all this cold weather so it's still doing great but i'm actually going to uncover it so i can get some sun so i already gave you all two great tips for the outdoors i'm gonna give you four nice tips for indoors first one being change your thermostat to no less than 68 degrees fahrenheit i have mine set to 75 so i can keep the place nice warm and cozy my second tip for you today is to make sure that your doors and your windows have nice seals. So you can always reinforce those seals with some weather strips um, or weather seal to make sure there's no cold air draft coming into your home. And it also helps with the energy bill. My third tip for you today is every room that has a sink, make sure that you have it on a slow drip. And the fourth tip for you today is to make sure that you have the covers opened up so that the hot, warm air in the home can go inside the cabinet and warm up those pipes. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my quick hard freeze tips. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.